Okay, over to you, Mark, and you've got some esteemed company with you. That's what I meant before, someone that can yeah, actually right. help you. Yeah, Mike, sure. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, over to the dream team in the kitchen today. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're not required today, Mike. So I'm joined... He can do the dishes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm joined by Nadia Lim today in the kitchen, and we've got a fantastic recipe out of a new book. So what are we cooking today? Um, we're going to do this red curry spiced fish with pineapple star anise chutney. Awesome. We've got all the ingredients yeah, here. goodness. We've got some uh, monkfish here. We've got all these spices. It's really quick to do, isn't it? It is. And uh, we'll hopefully not have Mike in the kitchen. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we do don't want to burn it. <laughs> 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 we'll have a fantastic we'll recipe for you a little bit later. Now it's over to Mel. Thank you very much, Holly. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. And look who's joining us, the incredible Nadia Lim. Yes. Um, I am... There's no dishes yet. Oh, no you dishes yet. Oh, yet. <laughs> Do you want me to leave? <laughs> yeah. No, but I'm really, I can help out. This is so good to have yeah. you on the cafe. Mark's a great chef. You're a great chef. This is a culinary match He's made in heaven. up to you now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so congratulations on the new book. We're going to talk about Thank that you. soon. We're going to make a recipe from it, though, so you can put Mark to work. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just wait for the dishes. <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah. just stand back and watch. <laughs> what are we doing? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some coconut rice on. Yeah. So got a bit of water going in here. Coconut cream. Coconut rice, by the way, amazing. So easy to make. You just make it like, cook it like normal rice, but yes. it's half coconut cream or co coconut milk and half water, and it's so creamy and delicious mm. and fragrant. And you can add kaffir lime leaves or slices oh, yeah. of ginger or any spices in it too. Yeah. Okay, nice work. Well, there yeah. you go. There's a little tip already. We're only 10 mm. seconds in. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that all goes in there. So we're going to bring it up to the boil. Yep. And we're going to pop a lid on it. Turn it down for about 12 minutes. Yeah, 12 minutes is good. Turn it off and then just use that steam to just yeah. finish off the rice. It's the best way to cook your rice if you want nice fluffy rice. Yeah, you bring it all up to the boil. And I always go one cup of rice to one and a half cups of liquid. Then um, bring it to the boil, cover it um, with the lid and turn it down to the lowest heat. Yeah, 12 minutes and then turn it off and leave it for like 10 minutes. Don't touch it. Don't take off the lid. I just have flashbacks nice of uh, you, uh, you and Hamish cooking rice. <laughs> And they completely screwed it up. I know, yeah. looking in, and now it's exactly still crunchy. And rice Don't is touch so my easy. rice. I won't touch it. I'm just here for the dishes, okay. that's all. Yeah. Um, okay, what else do we need to do? Um, right, so we're going to make a chutney, uh, chutney yeah. now. Yeah, so uh, like a fresh pineapple chutney, um, you can use fresh pineapple mm -hmm. if you've got it, or you can, if you've got a can in the pantry, that's fine to use as well. So just cubed up. You can chop it up more if you want, but let's just go chunky. And you left the liquid in it too? Yep. Yep, yep. yep. Cool. Flavour. Um, star anise for Beautiful. a bit of yep. flavour, teaspoon of sugar and um, some sweet chilli and so you kind of need that sweetness in there to be able to reduce everything down and get so it nice and it sticky. sticky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Beautiful. Yeah. And is this one of your favourites, you know, this type of dish? Um, curry fish? That's like the hardest question because it's like asking what's your favourite music because you, so you know, you if you're right. a musician you will love so many different types of exactly. music. Well what is it um, that you like about this dish then? How well, about that? I, lo I love Thai flavours but I also love that this dish, while it's got the Thai flavours, it's but it's not hard to make it super it's like a real speedy dish and it's a bit of a modern take on like a Thai curry so it's got all the flavors of a Thai right. curry in it but it's kind of done a bit differently mm, I nice. guess. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Well, yeah you got the coconut in the rice you got the pineapple there you got the spices in there a little bit of uh, heat in there nice and sticky and then we're going to uh, marinate the fish as well in some Thai red curry paste that's right which yep. is going to be and great and pan fried off mm. yeah Okay, well, it looks Fantastic. like it's pretty quick, which we like as yeah, well. Once yeah, the absolutely. rice is underway, you start getting everything yep. else organised, yeah. we'll come back, we'll sort out the fish, show you how to do that in just a minute. And you can keep this recipe going very easily by just going to thecafe.co.nz. Otherwise, hold fire, come back, we'll catch up as soon as we check in with Holly. Holly, so much more to come on the cafe as we'll be catching up with movie animation producer and children's author Chrissy Mitch. Right now, though, we need to finish off Mark and Nadia's dish. Well, it's more Nadia's dish. Mark and I are just helping. Actually, I'm not doing much. <laughs> I'm not I'm helping you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've sped things up slightly here. Is this the right stage yep. for everything? Coconut rice is um, on, because you can do this whole um, recipe in 20 minutes, and it's Brilliant. like a full meal, you know, vegetables, Yum. protein. Um, Smelling rice, good everything. too. So how much did we reduce that down by? So that, it took about stage. six minutes, so okay. now it's nice and sticky. So um, what we thought we'd do is we'd marinate the fish yep. now. Yep. So we've got some beautiful monk fish. Nice. Which I know is one of Mark's favourites. Yeah, yeah, I, like quite a lot of, yeah. yeah I love it too. And it's great for um, doing curries with because it holds together right. really well. It's a nice firm um, fish. fish. Yeah. So you get nice big chunks of Yeah, in just curry. nice big chunks. Nice. Um, whatever size you like, really. And then we're going to put it in this big bowl and marinate it with some Thai red curry paste. 
Thai red curry paste. And a little bit of coconut cream. Yum. Just one to two tablespoons. Yep. Yep. We'll and season it. it with some a little bit of salt. Would you like some pepper, ma'am? Ah, uh, no, because oh. there's enough spice in the, um, okay. the curry paste there. Oh, right. okay. <laughs> yeah. So how, how long would we marinate this for? I mean, if you had time, you could even, you could do it for half an hour, um, an hour, maybe up to a couple of hours. But honestly, you can just do That's this so and put it straight to, yeah. in. Yeah, you don't actually have to marinate it for long. Right, so, so let's so get that in the pan. A good thing to do would be perhaps get your fish done first, then move on to your rice, and then by the time you've finished everything else, everything's... You know, just no, top. Did, did just you read like, that in the recipe? <laughs> okay. What it, whatever he says, just <laughs> do, do the, the opposite. opposite. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then it, the food will turn out good. Yeah. I'm just going to wipe my fish hands. Oh, yeah, no, no. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, at least I can provide some sort of service here. All right. Um, and what we're going to do with the vegetables, so the recipe's actually got broccolini in it, but um, couldn't find any, so use some green beans spinach we've got as well oh, yeah, nice. and to speed up the cooking of this what yes. I like to do with my vegetables is I'll have them in a bowl and I just pour in boiling water leave them there for a few minutes and it kind of like blanches them it kind of pre-cooks them then you drain it and then you can chuck it in the hot pan and it will only take a minute brilliant to, to stir fry like that tip yeah nice lots of little shortcuts yeah no, that's good it's always good yeah good work. oh you're like me you just pick away at things and yeah. you eat it's good <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm nice. just going to add some fresh coriander to the pineapple chutney. chutney too. Yeah. Oh good, I love coriander. Yeah, me too. It's one of my favourite. Um, I know there's, a, there's a guy on the show who's a bit weird, doesn't like coriander. <laughs> oh, do, do you no, not like no, coriander? No, I love coriander. Oh, no, okay. it's not barista, yeah. It's barista, oh. Jesse. It doesn't like coriander. Oh. Missing out. Oh, yes, really? isn't he? Okay. Considering just about everything we make, it's got a little bit of coriander yeah. in it, poor guy. <laughs> but do you know 10% of the population don't like it? Because there's this gene, and to, you, you will have heard this, eh? 10% oh, of the population have like this gene where coriander, it makes coriander taste real soapy and weird. There'll be 10% of people watching this right now going, yeah, yeah, that's the right. Well, if it could taste soapy, who would want that? Okay, yeah. I understand. Okay. <laughs> You're not so strange after all, Jesse. don't worry. <laughs> right, so the rice has been 12 minutes now, so I'm going to take it off the heat, leave the lid on, and just sort of steam it for another eight minutes, and then it's going to be nice and fluffy, and it's going to be ready by the time everything else is ready. Perfect. How's the fish going? Beautiful. So these little bits are probably done now. Oh, I love those caramelised bits, just slightly. Yeah, it's awesome, bit. isn't it? You yeah. get all the flavour from that. Yeah, totally. So they're nearly ready. And, um, with your fish, people can quite often overcook it, so I always take it out just before it's cooked because when you take it out it will continue to cook exactly while it's out of the pan nice so i'm going to chuck these beans yep. in multitask yep they'll only need like 30 seconds give them a quick toss where's the plate to plate up <laughs> ah. there we go this is smelling incredible by the way do we have to plate up now no we can plate up after yeah we'll oh. plate up after ah. we'll and we're going to put, put some baby spinach yeah. on there as well yeah, sure, yep. why not? I'm going to put that in there. And we could even throw some spinach through the rice. Um, a great way to get more vegetables into the kids' site. Just finely chop some spinach and toss it through um, your rice. And it wilts into... It doesn't look like much, but you've actually put in quite a bit. Well, I've got to say, I am very impressed. The speed, the flavours, everything. This is fantastic. Clearly, this book is an absolute winner. We're going to talk more about that very soon. Is that all right? Yeah. And I'll come back and do the dishes afterwards, OK? Nice work. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back, see the finished dish very soon. Now it's time to find out what Holly is up to. OK, over to Mark and Nadia. How's the red curry looking? Yeah, we well are done. all good. So Nadia's going to start plating up now. Were you, were we you a it. Jason Presley fan? Uh, no, I didn't watch that, Robin. Oh. <laughs> that coronation. <laughs> oh. I, re I remember him. I oh, know, I was a Jason Priestley fan. Loved uh, it. So, yeah. yeah, we've just plated up the coconut rice, but see how beautiful and fluffy it is? And I like oh. that, and I put the spinach, yeah. the rest of the spinach yeah. in there, because it was such a, such a great idea. Any, any way to get more vegetables in. Um, so we've got the beans and the stir-fried the stir beans and spinach, um, our fish, the beautiful fish, and the mm. pineapple star anise chutney. Oh, the pineapple looks awesome, it smells fantastic. Yeah. Well, there's a little tip for you. Remember, don't serve the star anise there, otherwise that's going to be crunchy and nice. it's going to numb your mouth. And hey, man, unless Mike is your dinner guest. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, bring it over, guys. We'll try this. Well done. Go, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That's yeah. Okay. Dinner is served. Yes, thank you thank very you. much. An absolute pleasure having you. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Thank and um, thank Monday you. you're not going to be here, but you are. What are you cooking? Yeah, I'm going to be joined by Barbara Unkovich, and we're going to be cooking a recipe out of our new book, The Adriatic Kitchen.